Okay, so, a uh, real funny story about that. I don't know what the fuck the problem is, but apparently Elgato was really having trouble outputting uh, audio without doing that stupid goddamn pop all the goddamn time. So, literally, I just kind of said fuck it and got the game through other methods. I'll put it at that. So... Fuck it. We don't get the Wii U support, but we actually have the game, which is all I can really ask for at this point. I'm kind of tired of dealing with other bullshit. A game would be nice, yeah. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. And even though we might have to adjust the audio of the... Yeah, turn it down a bit. Yeah, I can turn it down a little bit. Oh, look at how nice and easy this is to turn the volume down and have it work all right. Hey, how about that? It's almost like this is the better way to do things. Um, it kind of is. So, um... Star Tropics, um, uh, made 1990, last game... One of the last games produced for the NES. The actual last game produced for the NES was Star Tropics 2, if I remember correctly. Did um, that one come out only in not Japan? Uh, didn't come out. Didn't come out in Japan. Came out. Uh, America came out in. Um, came out in UK and is not that good, if I'm being honest. So <laughs> um, we are Mike Jones, not associated with the rapper, a star pitcher from Seattle, and there's a pig here that anytime he talks to him, uh, he shows you his asshole. That's uh, cool, I guess. Um, we're here on these islands, uh, the Sea Island, which, uh, let's take a look at it. I have no idea how the fuck they possibly got that name for the island. It can't be because it was literally just a giant fucking sea or anything like that. I see. Hi, sea. Ecto you're, you're, cooler. They're re-releasing they're re that, you know. Yeah, I know. I don't know why. They should have left it in the trash can. Uh, you know, a lot of people... Uh, that's the first time I've heard something about this Ghostbusters that can go in the trash that I might agree with. <laughs> um, so one joke that kind of comes in the game a lot is Miss Coral. There's so many, like, Miss whatever 1990... So, all these people are really happy to see us. Apparently, our uncle is a real big C guy. Our uncle, Dr. Like he Dr. really Jones. likes the letter C? Yeah. Dr. J and the women. Uh, so, everyone in the sound is real nice except for this jack-off. Who won't actually let us go until we talk to everybody in town. Why is that? Um, just... A way of making sure you talk to everybody in town. Also, one guy gives you something Hi. really important. He looks like he has a spike helmet on. Oh, yeah, I actually always thought that too. Oh me, oh my. Yeah, we get- we just- they don't know who we are, we gotta let them know how trustworthy we are. So... Here's our first buddy. Chief Cora Cola. Everyone, by the way, in this game has some version of Cola. They use it all the time in this game for some reason. Chief Coca-Cola. Mm-hmm. Try not to be too upset, Whoa. but... Dr. Jones... Oh, hey there, little buddy. ...has been... abducted. His mantis start to, like, fluctuate a little bit in, in fear. <laughs> it's, like, really bad punch-out. <laughs> yeah, really. Hey, that's another game this guy made. He made Punch-Out. Oh, so that's why it looks a little bit familiar. Mm-hmm. So, um, we're going into battle, and he's given us a yo-yo, which, of course, is going to be a weapon for us because we're an ace pitcher. That, that's... <laughs> okay. Um, I think it actually got a different name. Oh, it's in... not a regular yo-yo, it's an island yo-yo. Yeah, yeah, the island yo-yo. You're an ace pitcher, you should be fine. So normally you would think, like, just after talking... Oh, by the way, if I talk to him again, I forget what he says. But you can just, like, get the fuck out of here. 
Oh no, he repeats everything. Oh. <laughs> so, by now we've talked to everyone. So that guy was like, Who are you? Get the fuck out of here. Oh wait, you've talked to everyone. You're sociable. You're a buddy. Oh, I know who you are now. Get out of here. You're popular now. And there's the sister of the island chief who kind of looks like him wearing makeup. And her hand, she's always doing the like, Shaka Khan catch, catch a sweet wave bro hand movement. <laughs> Make my monster grow! <laughs> island sailors look for the North Cross. Mike! Many wild monsters await you in the dark below. But remember! The magic of the Southern Cross is always on your side. It looks like she's always thinking about eating that thing, but not quite <laughs> sure about it. Alright, so here's my favorite thing about this game. The music is so good! I mean, this is like one of the only battle themes, but I fucking love it. Ooh, now saving your data. Yeah, this was like, uh, another one of the only games on the Nintendo that have a battery pack, right? Pretty much. Alright, so, two buttons in this game. Uh, one shoots your yo-yo, the other one lets you jump. If you're on normal ground, you jump in place, you can't, like, have any momentum. But you can shoot while jumping your yo-yo, but if you're on one of these green squares, you can jump over them. Yeah, uh, the- oh my god, this track is so good. This is, like, one of my favorite, like battle themes ever. Alright, so these guys will either drop, um, occasionally I think they, I forget if they drop hearts or not, but they drop, um, stars instead, which you can see on the bottom we got medicine, uh, stars, and extra guys. Five stars means we get one health refuel, um, refueled. And, um, I can jump over one square, um, what is the, uh, I might as well just show it off here. Uh, what, what's the, uh, okay, I is save state. Um, we can jump over one square, fine. But if I try and jump over two, um, you die. And you get real sad when you die. What, you get instantly die? Uh, if you jump in water, yeah. <laughs> and a little angel plops, plops out. Well, yeah, where you look real sad. So, um, here's like the bread and butter of this game is, uh, jumping puzzles. Where you gotta jump on the right, uh, you gotta jump on yeah. the right one. And it'll okay, open so a switch Okay, so it's like a puzzle game. Um, it's literally, imagine just Zelda with, like, jumping. It's kind of how I described it to my friends. And what else that rat doing? Oh, the rats are drunk. Yeah, okay, so they do drop hearts on occasion, but if they also drop stars, you just get five of those to get one health refueled. So they just like to spin in one part for a little while and um, just run off in one direction. So, a good rule of thumb is just jump on everything in this game. But you can't jump on enemies, can you? Uh, no. Uh, you couldn't even if you wanted to. Unless you have, um, like, a thing you can jump over. If you try and jump, you're only... you're gonna be locked in place. So here's, like, one of the first real jump puzzles in the game. Um, you can't really jump diag- you can jump diagonally in other games in the series, uh, i.e. two, but for the very first one, you're limited to only, um, the immediate directions around you. So, I'm saving now because I think- I think it's over- okay, so there are some rooms that literally just have nothing in them. Like, this room just has key- uh, literally, these are just keys from Zelda. And a cool little skull formation. Huh. But, 
like nothing really else. This is kind of neat. Oh, this game rules. Um, and I forget. Yeah, this one here probably has the exact same setup. Uh, and if you're standing, by the way, on one of those green tiles, uh, you cannot move from them. But at the same time, if you're on one of them, you can kind of just hold any direction to fire. And by any, I mean up, down, left, or right. Yeah, it's, uh, it's our test of island courage, which means that I wonder how many other islanders had to, uh, you know, crawl through the fucking demon death trap rooms. Well, at least two, because you know those skull rooms aren't naturally forming. That doesn't happen naturally. Yeah, and who put, like, this treasure chest that can be busted open by jumping on it? And yeah, there are sub-weapons too, and... Man, are they ever really kind of necessary for most boss fights. Because as, you, as you'd imagine, your yo-yo... Well, not... Like, well, pretty powerful, um, is real close range. Right. And when you get a little further into the dungeon, the music will change up, and it's pretty nice. So, those About guys... About how much of this game is dungeon? Uh, a pretty fair amount. Um... Honestly, I wasn't really impressed with, like, the overworld stuff, but this is pretty cool. The overall stuff is really more story than anything. Like, there's not a whole lot going on there. So we could head north, but also there's stuff over here to the side. Why don't we check it out? Now remember, the, uh... uh one of these should pop a switch, I think. Or is that later on? Oh, there it is. So sometimes you'll hear just shit explode, and where you need to go is off-screen. So right now, that kind of blew a hole in the wall. And now, uh, we're gonna get to some really interesting parts. So right now, in the middle, we see medicine, which... By the way, medicine rules, because we can just... If we pause the game, which we get a cute little sprite and Mike holding up a pause sign, uh, we can use that medicine to basically give us a full refill. I can also hit select at any point to... Uh, get a new weapon, which fire is same range as the yo-yo, but twice as powerful. So you're hopping around, you're exploring, you hit this, oh, what's up here? Oh, look at that! More magic! Another thing of medicine! I wonder, oh, look at that! Another thing to hop on! Surely this has to be something, you know, real nice as well. I'm gonna save the game right here, because if you go up here, You die. No way to get out of that. And you've lost your torches. So yeah, uh, this game will fuck with you. Wow, that's kind of a dick move. Yeah, this game pulls no punches. It will fuck with you. I mean, that's kind of cool and all, but there's no way you could know that before. Oh, no, not at all. So, um... Killing that snake is really hard early on, but um, it kind of tells you that if you stand in front of an enemy and just swing, you can stun them most times. But yeah, it's a good way to tell you um, how to kind of not be greedy. If, if they give you two free potions, just take the two free potions. You're a star pitcher from Seattle. You can get anything you want. Don't be greedy. Uh, yes, this is on the... It just got put on the Wii U Virtual Console, which we would have been playing. Oh, wait, boss fight first. Um, so here's the first boss, Snake Man. Snake Man only does one thing. He shoots fire in the middle. So, um, from standing on that middle platform, our yo-yo can actually reach him. So if we wanted to actually do damage to him, we'd have to be up front and basically pray that we don't get hit. But if I stand back and use the torches that I got, I can actually do some damage to him. Oh, I see. There are also some times where he just... He'll yell, but he won't actually do damage to you. 
It's kind of a, like a scary looking snake for a Nintendo game. Uh, a lot of the bosses in this game are actually pretty damn intimidating. And he's dead. And I could never tell if that was supposed to be his bones or just like skin molted. Because he's a snake. Oh, I think that's, like, maybe stuff that he ate. Hmm. So, you get points for beating every dungeon in this game, but who gives a shit about points? Nobody. But back then, they did. Oh, yeah. What's your high score on Star Tropics? There probably are leaderboards, too, somewhere. But, yeah, this game was, uh... It was on Wii Virtual Console and just recently got, like today, got put on Wii U Virtual Console. But my old god was being a shit, so I'm playing it on, uh, on emulator. And now we get to meet our boy Babu! Dr. J's assistant. Our sweet Babu. And he's got a submarine! 1492. You don't need to remember it, but you just, he'll tell you it. And it looks like Babu is hiding something. Put your hiding, Babu. He's afraid of everything. But anyway, let's get on the submarine. I wonder what it. I wonder who could possibly be on the submarine. It's Rob the Robot. A. I fucking love this music. B. It's literally Rob the Robot. A little buddy Navcom. Aww. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da. <laughs> oh, fuck you. No. We're not gonna... This looks like this might be uh, Bastion's kid. Like his dumpy little kid.